Hey, it's Jesus Castillo from Ruby Guides, and in this video, you are going to learn how to implement pagination in Ruby on Rails. Let's do this. What is pagin pagination? Well, pagination is when you have many pages, right? You have a lot of, for example, books in this case, but it can be anything else that you have in your application. You have an application where you have music or something else. You don't want your index page or users or whatever it is. You don't want your index page to be hundred and hundred of items on the same page, right? We want to break this down into pages. That's what pagination is. And then what we want to have is a uh, link here in the bottom that says next page, last page, next page, last page. So you can click these links and and then these links bring you to the next page of books in this case. So that's pagination. And there are gems that you can use to implement this like Caminari is one gem I like for implementing this. But in this video, you're going to learn exactly how to implement this without a gem because you don't always need a gem to do these kinds of things. It really helps to understand how these things work, right? Because if you understand how it works, then you will become a better developer, more professional developer, and also you will be able to, when something doesn't work, when something breaks, you will be able to fix it more easily because you understand how it works. So that's why we're doing this without a jam. And also, if you have too many gems, then you have to keep track of these gems. You have to update them. They can break because with newer versions of Rails and all of that. So now I have a books controller, very simple books controller in here. This book con controller is what responsible from getting this list of books with this book all. Now, if we want pagination, what do we need to do? Well, we need to break this down into pages. First, I'm going to define a constant, constant like this, books per page. Uh, this is going to define exactly how many books I want to show the user for every page. In this case, let's go with free because I only have four books right here. So free will work. And the next thing we want to do is to use the limit um, active record method. And this does exactly what the method says. It limits the amount of uh, things that we get from the database. So if you're working with books, you will get free books. But instead of hard coding it to free, I'm going to use my books per page constant here. So we get free books. And now uh, if I want to be able to implement pages, so you can see the next set of books that are available in this website. Then there, are, there is another method that's called offset, offset, like that. So what does this method do? And what's the parameter? Because it requires one parameter. Well, offset says where to start. So if I do offset zero, what we see is that nothing because offset zero <laughs> is zero is the default. But if I do offset one, we're rotating the list of books, right? So let's see this again. If I do offset zero, which is the default, even if you don't call offset, so like this, right? So this is the default. We get the, the list like this. But if I do offset one, we're going to rotate the list and uh, now we see a different list of books. So that's offset. And this is how we are 
actually going to do the pagination. We're going to sh show one set of books or another set of books based on whichever page we are showing. So now we're going to set the page and the page is going to come from params. If you don't know how params works, have an article on the Ruby Guides website that explains this. So params page, but instead of doing this, I'm going to use fetch. So fetch allows you to set a default value. So whenever we don't have a page defined by the user, then we have a default. And on top of this, we also have to I. Why? Because params are strings and we want a number, an integer. So two I means two integer. And that's the page number. Now the change that we need to make is go from page number to offset. Because remember offset is going to control what books are showing on, on the current page. So to do this, we're going to use this constant again. So we're going to take the page and we're going to multiply the page times the books per page. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay, nothing changed right now. And that's exactly right because the default is zero, the first page. But if I go to page equals one, Ta-da! It's working because we get one book. Remember, in this application, I have four books and we're showing three books per page, right? So by default, what's been shown? By default, it's been shown the page zero, even if I don't have page as a parameter. So that's coming from here, that's zero. And then the offset, is the page number times how many books per page. So it's already working, very nice. As you can see, it's very simple. The general idea to make this work is nothing complicated at all. It's just understanding the option method, which is the, the rotation, the starting point of the set of books that we want to show. And the limit method to limit how many we show per page. All right, let's now, let's do the next step, which is to show the links. So right now, as you can see, I have to manually type the page, but we don't, you probably don't want your user to have to type the page number because that's not very nice navigation. It's not a very nice user experience, right? It's fine for us as developers to test this out, but now we're going to implement the user facing part of this, which is the links at the bottom. So to do this, we have to go to the view. Specifically, it is going to be the books index view. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new section, a new HTML section with the deep tag. And in here I want two links. It is going to be link to next page. And we're going to have as well to last page. For let's let, let's do this first first. Where are we linking to? Well we're linking to the next page. How can we do that? Well, routes, right? So this, again, um, Rails fundamentals. If we have a route for books, we can use that like this. We can do books path. And this would be, there is our link. This would be books itself, the same page before. You see, I'm clicking. I'm just sent to the page that we are at right now. So how do we add the, the, the next page? 
Well, like this. We can do page. Um, this is like a hash, basically. And we can do page. And we use the page that we have in here. But if I do this, this page zero, we are not advancing the page. So how do we advance? Well, plus one. Nothing magical or special right here, it's just plus one. And there we go. So that's page one, page... Of course, page two is empty because there are no more books, right? So now the last page, so we can go uh, forward and backward, is like this last page and instead of plus one what do we do if we want to go back well minus one so let's do it like that and now we have last page next page do you see that right here last page next page so if i go to next page it's working if i do last page it's also working nice so that's already working and we have all of the functionality going. I just want to do one minor design adjustment here, which is to add a little um, pipe character so that we can separate these two options. Because right now there are like, you can't really tell these are different. But with my change, with my pipe character, now we have this little separation here, right? So that's just a very simple design thing that we that we can do here. And we have next page, next page, last page, last page. So that's it. That's how you implement pagination in Ruby Rails. I uh, this will work in Rails 5, in Rails 6. It doesn't really matter because these are very basic and simple um, Rails methods that you can use to implement pagination. So quick review, we are having a constant, it's called a constant. Uh, and here we have the number of books per page. And we use this to calculate the offset. The offset Offset is where we are starting on the list of books. So that's it. That's how you implement pagination in Ruby on Redis. I hope you, fo you found this video helpful and that you learned something new. Please click the like button for me, the thumbs up button below this video. So I know that you enjoyed this video and some more people are able to find this video. If you want to keep learning, watch more of my videos right now on the channel. There are over 100 videos for you to enjoy and learn from. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and click the bell button to get notified when new videos are published so you don't miss out on new videos that help you learn and improve your Ruby skills because you need to keep doing this, right? You need to keep watching, keep practicing, keep learning continuously so you can actually improve. If you do this on and off, then you are hardly going to improve. You have to keep improving a little bit every day, right? So that's why watching these videos and doing practicing, not only watch, you also want to practice, right? So do these things, um, like, subscribe, and finally, watch more videos and visit my website, rubyguides.com, rubyguides.com. Thanks a lot for watching, thanks for your support, I will see you in the next video.